What's up guys, welcome back. So, it is not a surprise that I have been hunting and climbing a tree with a one stick system for a while now. And the one stick system is just absolutely one of the coolest ways to climb a tree. Um, in my recent stick comparison video, we talked about sticks and I showed off this stick right here. This is the TIE Fighter stick that I had custom made for me uh, by a good buddy of mine, Carl. And um, this stick is awesome. However, you can't get your hands on this stick. It's very hard to get. This was literally custom made, machined, everything. So let's not worry about that stick. Let's worry about how you guys can climb a tree and one stick with the tethered one stick. So first off, let's just look at how I have this set up. Um, obviously I just have the regular tethered climbing rope on here. Now my sticks are filled with foam and these are the updated orange pins that Tethered sent out uh, because my 3D printed version were not good. I've added an aider to these. Now this aider I have slipped up, under, and then on. So this is just a closed loop on here. You can buy these aiders all over the internet. Uh, a bunch of different people have them. I don't, Tether doesn't make them and I don't have any affiliation with the guys that are making them. So figure out whoever you wanna buy them from. But I like having an aider I like having three steps on that aider and I like 15 inches between steps. So let's look at how I go about climbing the tree with a one stick method using the tethered one stick. Part of what allows one sticking to be so successful is how you set up your saddle and how you get your gear ready. And one of the things that really, really, really helps with this is this pouch. This pouch is really essential to having your rope set up, uh, keeping all your stuff stored in the right area and figuring out how to get it there. So um, look for this pouch to be available soon. You know, do you have to have this pouch? No but it makes it really, really helpful to have this pouch because of how the rope uh, stores in there and the gear. So let's hop over to the tree. I'll show you how I store that gear and how I set this rope up for one stick. All right, so here we are at the tree. And what I like to do is when I'm climbing a tree, I wanna climb the side that is the high side of the tree. So if the tree is angling away, we're gonna be on the side that is above where it's angling towards because obviously, I'm a big dude and I need all the help I can get. I don't need to be fighting against gravity any more than I already am when climbing. So take your one stick and the first move that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this one stick at about a foot above my head. So I want the bottom of this step to be at about knee high level. Just seat it down there. Now on these ropes, you'll see that I can drop my pouch and right here, I'm able to unzip this area and pull everything out that I need. So what I'm running here is 40 feet of Sterling Oplux. I have just a regular old link, a steel link here. This is a Petzl climbing link. Um, you know, you can use a carabiner. However, a carabiner is technically side-loaded when you're doing this on smaller trees. And I would rather take a little extra time and be safe. And then here, this is a Madrock safeguard. So the Madrock safeguard is also important because this is what allows me to get out of the tree and repel. And it, has an, it doesn't have an automatic brake. So the brake is totally operated by my hand. They also make a red version of this that is not the one that you wanna use. That one has an automatic break and it'll really be hard to repel down the tree. So now that my stick is set, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna climb up. I'm gonna keep this around my neck because like this around my shoulders and behind my neck because I don't need to throw it around the tree right now. I'm gonna climb up to this base point. I'm gonna lock my legs behind this top area so I'm safe and secure. I'm gonna throw my belt, my tether around the tree and be good to go.
All right, so here we are at my first move. All I need to do is throw this around the tree. I'm gonna close the link. And I'm gonna lock my belt in. So now I'm really safe and secure. I could almost, you know, hunt like this if I needed. I like to keep my bridge really short while I'm running this. This allows the safeguard to be much closer to my, uh, to my chest and my breastplate here, and it makes it easier to operate. So once I get up to hunting height, I'll adjust this. But really, this right now is optimal. So what I like to do is if the tree is at 12 o'clock, I'm gonna have the rope off to about, I don't know, 15 degrees, 20 degrees from that 12 o'clock center area so that I'm able to slide off to the side and not have the stick get in my way. So right here, I'm pretty much perfect. I can just grab the stick, pull it up, grab the tag in, unloop it, and be good to go. So then all we're gonna do is just move the stick as high as we want. So right there seems pretty good to me. I'm gonna make my loop, come back down, complete the figure eight. And you don't need to really make a ton of loops on this, but again, I'm fine taking a couple extra seconds to put a couple extra loops in there. As you get more comfortable with this process, you can make as many loops as you want or don't want. You just move over, put some weight on it, and up you go. Just load our weight into her, slide off to the side of the tree, and you can literally go up as high as you want. You can go as low as you need to. You're not restricted by anything. Other than fat fingers and clumsiness. So again, you know, the rope's locked in, it's wrapped all the way around. This step is right at foot level. Grab the tree and up we go. Now it's important to note when you're doing this, this is the most dangerous part of the climb is when you're above the tree tether. So it's important to try and move this rope up as much as you can while you're climbing. So again, slide off to the side, grab the rope, and you can go as many iterations of this as you feel you need to, to be at hunting height. One of the things I love about this setup is one, it hardly takes any energy to do this. I'm literally just sitting here climbing the tree with less effort than, than using four sticks. And then also I can climb to wherever I need to. I'm not limited by having only three or four sticks. So now that this would be my last climb in a hunting scenario, I'm gonna tie this off normally. 
So, probably don't have to do that, but it's nice to have because I don't want this tag in blowing in the wind. I would then hang my platform, or if it's a quick hunt, just hunt off this stick. And boom, you're hunting. When the hunt is over, this is the key component. You take your pull-up rope, lower it down. You know, I, I'd have my bow on here under a hunting scenario. I then would clip it on this rope a couple inches back. And again, this is where this pouch comes in really handy. I can just open this up Feed all my rope to the bottom. And now I can just slowly rappel down or quickly rappel down, however, however you feel comfortable doing so. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of walk down a little bit or get off to the side of the tree. Drop down a little. I'm gonna grab my stick. And this entire time, I'm totally safe and secure. I'm just hanging out, literally. Have a little clip on my pouch I just dropped the stick onto. And away we go. Now normally I would have gloves on while I'm doing this uh, because I like to hunt with gloves on. So you just have your rappel hand free and you just literally go down the tree. All right, so now we're at the base of the tree. You just literally plop down I'll take myself, get unhooked. Now what I like to do is go nice and slow with this. I'm gonna attach this over to my saddle. Disconnect this, just put it in my pouch. And this is where part of the booty of this system lies. So here's my bow rope that I dropped down and I can literally just pull on this rope and down it comes. So first things first, we're gonna unhook this. And the way that I have this set up is this is just a little metal clip. I'm gonna pack this up just like I would any other bow rope with a figure eight knot. Just going back and forth over itself. When I get to about 18 inches left, pull it off and hold it. Just wrap it around itself just like that. And at the very end, you pull a little slack up. Drop this under it. Tuck that away. And now, Take my lap link out of there, or excuse me, my chain link. I'm gonna grab my tag end, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing that I just did before. I'm just making a giant figure eight with this rope. Just 
until I get about eight feet left. Fold it in half like that. I'm gonna put it back in my little pouch. And before I put it away, I'm gonna take my safeguard. I'm gonna put it back on the rope how it needs to go. Just like that. I'm gonna put this carabiner back through it. So what that allows me to do is the next time that I get to a tree to go hunt, that's one less step that I need to take and I can just pack it all back up in here. Well, we are done. So that's one of the beauties of using the one stick instead of the TIE Fighter is it is so light. You're literally carrying a pound with you to the tree. You throw your uh, preferred platform on and you're good to go. So hopefully that's helpful for you guys. Uh, this is a really versatile setup. I absolutely love the ability to climb any tree I want in the woods, climb as high as I need to go. And there's just no extra material there. And I also love how quickly I can get down out of the tree and be packed up and out of an area. So check it out. If you have any questions, let me know. Leave a comment below and tell your buddies.